guys, it's Mr. Smith, and this is Friday, so that means it's time for another Minecraft math lesson. You know I always say that. So anyways, what we're going to do is, I know you're all excited because we went to the end last time, and we saw the end, and we figured out how to get to where the dragon is. We even shot some of the little recharge things. So what are we going to do now? Well, I'm sorry if you thought we were going to go kill the Ender Dragon today. Don't think we're going to do that because I don't have any arrows. So... One of the things you have to do to make arrows is you have to have flint, which comes from gravel. So what I have is I've gathered all the gravel I have, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make some flint so we can make some arrows. Once I have some arrows, I will make a bow and we can go to the end. But today we're gonna have to get ready because I don't think I don't think no arrows is a good recipe for going to the end. Also, I don't have any armor. Um, you know, I think I forgot to take off my armor. I always do that when I do that thing where I go to the end and see what it's like, but I don't. So I think I need to make armor, although I think I have diamond armor that I put away so I could put the gold armor on so that I wouldn't get eaten by all the hoglin things. So anyways, the first question I want to ask you is, how much gravel do I have? So, we have 64 plus 64 plus 41 that is how much gravel we're starting with so i'm going to go about making this into flint as much of it as i can i'm going to do do something kind of boring and and uh kind of grindy and um i'll come back to you and you'll see we'll see how much of the gravel turned into flint all right so i'll be back Hi guys, I'm up here. Look up here at me. Look, way up. I hope you're not scared of heights. Oh, look where I am. So anyways, what I did was I stacked up all the gravel and then I'm gonna use my diamond shovel to shovel down. I'm gonna do this a bunch of times. So I'm not gonna make you watch, but I thought I, I thought it's, it's cool to see the world from up here, isn't it? Look at all the cows. I have too many cows. Anyways, there's some free range cows too. Look at that. Um, I keep talking about that, I'm sorry. So anyways, I'm going to shovel down. All right, I have to get my perspective back. There we go. I'm going to shovel down, and I'll come back to you in a few minutes. And we'll figure out how much of my gravel turned into flint. So I'll be right back. Hi, guys. I'm back. So I'm doing this one more time, and then we're going to do some math to figure out how much gravel I turned into flint. I think I have a lot of gravel now. I haven't really looked. I figured we could do the math and find out. All right, so guys, I had 64 plus 64 plus 41. Now I have 64 plus 61. So guys, how much gravel did I turn into flint? So we're gonna have to find the total of those two numbers and then just subtract it from our first total. It's a little complicated, but I think we can do it. So anyways, all right, I'm gonna look at my inventory now and see how much flint I have. So I have 44 flint, guys, look at that. So, and I think that works out correctly with what we had before, but you guys know, I, I, don't know, I haven't done the math yet, thought about it in my head. You guys are doing the math in class. So anyways, so here's my next question. So I need to make arrows now. So let's find my crafting bench. Dun, dun, dun. That's not a crafting bench, that's the up, upgrade gear bench. So, all right. I can do, I can make arrows with 44 of the flint. So just, just to make it easier, I'm gonna put a whole stack of sticks and a whole stack of feathers. So we can do 44 arrows. We can do 44 arrows. And then each time we do this, it makes four arrows. So we need to do 44 times four. So we could do that on paper, or we could do that with a calculator. You're probably going to do it with a calculator. So anyways, go ahead and do that, and then we'll show you how it works. All right, all right so now let's see how many arrows we made with our 44. Bam. So, oh my gosh, we got to do some more math. So we have to do 64 plus 64 plus 48. We are doing all sorts of crazy math right now, aren't we? So how many total arrows did I make 
with the flint I made. And I can make more flint. I probably will because it takes a lot of arrows to beat the Ender Dragon. But for our sake, for what we just did, I'm gonna, just so it, I'm not up all night making arrows, um, we're going to stop there. But I'll probably make more before we go. Like I said, we're not, we're probably not going today. Now, I need to make a bow. I need to make a bow. Do I have any string? I do have string. All right, so we're going to make a bow. <sighs> Let's see. And then we're going to go look at some enchantments we can use with our bow. Actually, I want to see, do I have a crossbow? A crossbow might be better. I do have a crossbow. So the other question is, does a crossbow take regular arrows? Let's go find out. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm going to get my face eaten off. All right, so we have to hold it, and then I see. Oh. And I got my arrows back. All right, so... I'm gonna sleep, so I get my face eaten. And then, we're gonna look at some enchantments we can do with our bow and with our crossbow. Now, I don't have any levels because I had to die to get back from the end. So I'm gonna have to probably do some mining or go to the end, go to the nether and build up my levels. But um, we'll see what the possibilities are for enchantments on our bow. So let's see what we can get. Piercing, piercing, all right. I don't know if piercing is what I want. Unbreaking, power two. Unbreaking would be good. Power two would be better because it would be, because I can make a bunch of bows. Like I don't really need unbreaking because I have lots of string and lots of wood. Um, but power would be more powerful hits to the ender dragon. So that would probably be better. So, I need to do some leveling up and gathering materials, so I'm going to make some more arrows probably and be back guys, alright? Mm. Hi guys, I'm back. So we're going to um, enchant a few things and then we're going to be done with this episode. And the next time I'll do a little work over the, over the week and um, we'll be ready. So I also want to enchant my boots. Here's why I want to enchant my boots, because the Ender Dragon will knock you up in the air. And then, so, it's good to have Feather Falling. I don't have Feather Falling there. It's not going to do it. So, let's enchant the bow and see what we get. I think we had power, too, if we did this. This one is piercing, I think, which I don't really need. I don't think that helps me with the Ender Dragon. So, let's do this power, two. Oh, I need to get Lapis. Oops. I didn't pick up any Lapis. I know better than that. Lapis, there we go. Silly head. All right, Lapis. Power two. Ooh, power and unbreaking. That's good. That's very, very good. All right, now let's see if we can get Feather Falling. Feather Falling. <gasps> feather Falling three. That's what I wanted, guys. Look at that. All right. So now my boots have Feather Falling. Let's see what what we get. Piercing. I don't want piercing. Uh, meh, meh. Meh, I don't know. Sharpness, we can get sharpness. Let's see what it does here. Sweeping edge? I don't know if that helps me. All right. Um, you know what, Let's just for fun, let's try the pick and see what happens. Unbreaking would be good for this pick because we don't have anything on it right now. Let's do, Unbreaking 3 would be better, but I don't have 30 levels. I could probably get 30 levels. All right, I'm gonna wait save up my levels. Let's see what we can get on this. Unbreaking, unbreaking. Yeah, that's the same. Do, do, do. Fortune would be nice for this shovel so I can get more flint. Um, but it's not going to happen. Unbreaking, mm. efficiency. Efficiency would be good too. But anyways, but look at this guy's feather falling three and it was only a level two enchantment. So that's really, really good. So we have a power two unbreaking bow and feather falling boots for our fight with the ender dragon. And I have 21 levels, guys. I use like fire resistant potions and fought, um, fought blazes and found uh, quartz. Quartz ore gets you a lot of levels. It's a good way to, to gain levels. So anyways, 
That's. I know you really wanted me to fight the Ender Dragon, but I'm not gonna fight it when I'm not ready. So, we made our arrows. We did some math. We did some enchantments, and uh, that's about it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for doing all your hard work this week, and let's have a great weekend, guys. Next week, probably the Ender Dragon. All right, bye, guys.